Hello there fellas, many of us kids have been asked by our parents the exact same few questions. Things like, what are you gonna do when you grow up? What university are you going to? And the most common one, when are you gonna leave the house? You know, basic stuff. We're not gonna be here spending all day and night and the whole week trying to figure out a substantial answer. Today, we're just gonna focus in on two different jobs of completely different backgrounds and basically are completely different to each other and are complete opposites. Anyway, the first job we're gonna be looking at today in this video will be a lawyer, right? Yeah, lawyer. Mm -hmm. lawyer. A lawyer is basically a dude that has a tie, carries a suitcase, and has a very big brain in the judicial and law system. Now, you might be wondering, why are we specifically choosing a lawyer? Chances are, if you're Asian or part of an Asian family household, your, your parents would have probably confronted you, patted you, or held you by the back or shoulder, and said to you, quote, you're going to be a lawyer because we said so, and you're going to have fun with it, and just casually walk away. Screw it, I'm going to be a Pokemon trainer. Although being a lawyer gives you a really high role in society, there are some downsides to this job, as with all jobs. For starters, a lawyer on average earns approximately 100 grand per year. But that's just an average. It could go all the way up to 207 grand or more, which is something everyone wants because, well, money equals power and all that. But it does take a very long time to get there. You need at least four years in university to even get a degree, which means ugh, more learning, more going to school, which is really weird. And to top that off, you need a very quick and harsh investment of over a hundred thousand dollars in tuition, which you don't actually. If you don't make any cash, you're pretty much screwed. Oh, and even if you actually do eventually graduate, most law firms don't really accept newbie noobs into like their expert and veteran law firms, and they won't pay you much even if you get in. Like, we're talking only thirty-seven grand a year. And to top all that off, you need very good handwriting, like. It has to be clear, otherwise no one's going to understand it and you're probably going to lose clients very quickly. Anyways, enough of the rambling about all this negative stuff. Let's move on to the more positive stuff. Conditions for a lawyer in the workplace are pretty positive most of the time. You got your own little office with like its own little sign. You got your own books that you have to actually read through to understand everything. You need your own writing utensils to sign papers and etc like computers and whatnot a day in the life of a lawyer can pretty much go two ways either you're in a court fighting for your client on whatever the case is or you're back in your office listening to client concerns listening to consultations reviewing your lawyer stuff and apologies for the exact same photo. Yeah, that's about it for the lawyer stuff. Now, moving on to the other job that we're going to be talking about today. Now, the other job that we're going to be talking about today is a, you guessed it, a YouTuber. Well, yeah, a YouTuber. Now, what exactly is a YouTuber? It's basically a person that relies on YouTube for a living or a source of income. Kind of like how we have our own jobs and we get money from that, but instead it's on the internet and you're begging people to watch your videos in order to get money. You can pretty much see why this job was chosen because this is on YouTube like right now, you're looking at it right now don't really need much education to get onto YouTube. The only real thing you need to know is how to operate your device that you're going to be using to record, what games you want to play on or 
what you want to do to attract people to your channel and other equipment you might need will be a mic, a device, a quiet room. Working conditions can be completely independent and you can literally choose what you, your conditions want to be because, well, you're in control of everything. It could be anything from the side of a street to a, a back alley or in your room, your own building, your own warehouse, your own high-rise skyscraper, office building, whatever. As long as you have a building or a place and your phone has internet, you basically can upload a video. Earnings can vary a lot depending on the amount of subscribers and support on your channel. You can earn from literally nothing throughout the entire year to making around 50 million dollars after the assets and supports of sponsorships, memberships, subscriptions, patreons, fundraising campaigns, support, st live streams, like literally everything can earn you money as long as you try. A day in the life can be anything if you earn enough. You could be sitting with your friends, you could be talking to your friends, you could be eating for the whole day, you could be watching other YouTubers, you could be gaming yourself but not post any videos on there, or you could be thinking of other ideas, or you're probably making another video. There's really no limit to what you can do in a single day. Yeah, that concludes this video and a overview on these two jobs. This may not be a accurate video because I didn't really use that many sources and I didn't get to interview people. This is just a sample video for a school project. This isn't really for anything else. So, yeah, that's about it. I guess I'll see you guys around. Thank you.